This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. With the power of a GIS, you have the ability to change how data is displayed. This capability allows display of multiple layers simultaneously. Data of different types, such as points, lines, and polygons, and multiple copies of the same data, all can be displayed with each visually distinguished by symbol and color. In part one of this video, we demonstrate the how-tos without the whys of the choices made, such as coordinate system or symbology. It's important to read the chapter in the text for more detail. We begin by using the project and data added in the last chapter. First check the assigned coordinate system. Right click Map and choose Properties. Click Coordinate System in the Map Properties Layers dialog box to show the coordinate system associated with each layer. In this example, the map is being displayed using the coordinate system shown in the current XY box at the top. But we have layers with several different coordinate systems. Click on the triangle symbol in front of the coordinate system name. It provides information on which layers are associated with that coordinate system. As a default, ArcGIS Pro assigns the datum and coordinate system to the map project from the first data that is added to the project. But you can change the coordinate system right here. To do that, select the one desired from the layers list, which places it in the current XY box. Click OK. Our map display changes to reflect the new coordinate system. We end this demonstration here, but also need to provide a word of caution. Completing analyses using data with different geographic and projected coordinate systems can introduce error into the results. Please understand the different systems available and used, the appropriate applications associated with their use, and how the results may vary between different systems. When adding vector or raster datasets to a map project, ArcGIS Pro selects symbology to display the data. Points are always displayed as colored dots, lines as colored lines, and polygons as solid colors outlined with different colors. Most raster data is displayed as stretched grayscale. Aerial photos, such as those displayed using the NAIC GIS server connection, display as red, green, blue, or RGB format. All of these types of display symbology can be modified. This display shows the default symbology, if you added the same data, your colors would likely be different. Turning off some layers, we see the Landsat 8 Band 5 raster displayed in stretched grayscale, and below it, the NAPE aerial image displayed in RGB format. We first address how to change the symbology associated with one of the point layers. Let's turn off all of the layers except the two point layers and the one polygon. To change the symbology of a point layer, select the layer in the contents window. Once a layer has been highlighted, a new group, feature layer, appears on the title bar with three tabs of its own, appearance, labeling, and data. In this chapter, we only address appearance. Click on appearance, and then click on the triangle under Symbology. Here we will cover only the first two options, Single Symbol and Unique Values. Click on Single Symbol. The Symbology dialog box opens for the selected layer. Clicking on the symbol opens a number of options. You can scroll down to see more. There are even more options found by changing project styles to all styles. 
and a specific type can be located using the search box. Let's search for hospital. Scroll through to view the many symbols for hospitals. Close the dialog box. Another method for changing symbols is by clicking on the symbol under the layer name and contents. This brings up the same symbology dialog box. This time, let's change the symbol to a triangle for cities and a square for weather. Note that we can also change the size, color, and other properties using the Properties tab. Let's decrease the size to 7. Notice how the symbols change size. Close the Symbology window. That was Single Symbol, where all symbols displayed are the same. Let's look at symbolizing using unique values. Choose the Cities layer and open the Symbology dialog box from the Appearance tab. Click on Unique Values. Use unique values when symbolizing features based on field values from the Attribute table. Attributes are characteristics of the features for the specific layer. Let's look at the attributes for the Cities layer. Right-click on the layer's name and choose Attribute Table. Here you see the Attribute Table at the bottom of the map document. Most of the columns or fields can be used to display a characteristic of the feature, in this case the cities. We'll demonstrate the two available, those cities that are located within a specific state, and for the second, the status column. Making the table larger, let's examine the state abbreviation field. It contains the abbreviation for the state the city is in. The status field contains information about whether a city is a state capital or a county seat, for example. Close the attribute table. Now we know to choose state abbreviation for the field. Each point is now colored by the state where it is located. You can see this in the table of contents. Now change the value field to status. In both cases, the symbology icons in contents have expanded to explain the color coding. The color coding has been randomly chosen. We can choose a different scheme to enhance the visibility of symbols. Or, we can choose an individual color for each point in the table of contents. These demonstrated symbology options reflect a very small portion of options in the symbology dialog box. Practice and explore. Don't worry, changing symbology doesn't change the data within the feature classes. Let's move on to a line layer, roads. This is an example of single symbol display. All of the roads are one color. You can examine the attribute table for options for displaying as unique values by type of road, for example, and symbology for lines is changed using the same techniques. Like point data and line data, changing the symbology of polygon data is very similar. The main difference is that polygons have area. Click on the polygon symbol and open the symbology dialog box. You can change the symbol, or change the fill color, the fill and the outline color, the outline width, or even change the symbology of just the outline. Symbolizing polygons can also occur with unique values. Let's symbolize this so the states are different colors. Open the attribute table to determine which field to use for unique values. State name is obvious. Clicking Symbology 
Choose Unique Values and State Name for the field. Each of the states is displayed in a different color. This ends Part 1, Displaying Vector Data. In the next video, we cover displaying raster data.